Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a spiked sedge stitch. Now I'm going to confess when I came across the stitch I could not find a name for it, but uh, it's constructed similar to the sedge stitch which you can find here on my channel. Uh, with a little bit of a spike stitch thrown in. So I've settled on the spike sed sti sedge stitch. It creates this really great texture and I love this stitch. It's the same on the front as it is at the back. Uh, it's quite thick, which is nice. It would make a, a wonderful addition to a blanket, a washcloth, so many opportunities for this crochet stitch and I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you would use it in the comments down below. So thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial today. We're going to be using some cotton yarn. This is a worsted weight cotton yarn called Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of the video as well as a direct link to the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly on every Sunday morning with a new crochet stitch tutorial. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of three stitches plus two. So today for the video, I'm going to work a total of 23 chains. Twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. So once you have your foundation chain worked, we're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. So single crochet into that first second chain and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two we're going to work into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch so into this first stitch work one single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet all into this first stitch. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and into the next stitch repeat single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet all into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and then double crochet all the way across to your final stitch and you'll work a single crochet into that final stitch. I'm going to keep working across here and I'll meet you back when I get there. At the end of your row two, you skip the next two stitches, single crochet into that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For row three, your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're going to single crochet and half double crochet into that first single crochet stitch. We're then going to work a spiked double crochet stitch into the same space as the single crochet in the row below. So uh, if you kind of pull your work apart, you can see this is where we're working our stitches right now. 
into this single crochet down below and then you actually want to reach down with your double crochet into that same space that that single crochet was worked in. So yarn over, bring your hook down into the same space, the top of the stitch two rows below, yarn over, draw up a loop, draw it up to the height of your other stitches, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's our spiked double crochet stitch. Next, skip the next two stitches, which is a double crochet and a half double crochet, and into your next single crochet, work a single crochet stitch, followed by a half double crochet stitch, and then once again, a spiked double crochet stitch down into the stitch right down below. So into the space that that single crochet is worked in work your spike double crochet. Repeat this all the way across. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and then a spike double crochet into the space under that single crochet stitch. and repeat. I only have a few more. I'm just going to continue across When you come to your final single crochet, simply work a single crochet into that final stitch. Now for the repeat of the pattern, that's all there is to it. So chain one, turn your work. You're then going to simply repeat that row three. So into your first stitch, single crochet, half double crochet and then work a spiked double crochet into the same space that that stitch down below is worked into. Skip the next two stitches, single crochet, half double crochet and your spiked double crochet into the same space as the stitch down below is worked into. Repeat all the way around, single crochet in your final stitch, chain one, turn your work, and that's all there is to it, to working the spiked sedge stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another crochet stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.